I said, yo. What's up, everybody? I'm Amber. This is Amber's Logic. Got a new video for you today. We're going to talk about the Green Bay Packers versus the Los Angeles Rams in the NFL. Let's get into it. But before we do, y'all know the spiel. Comment, like, subscribe, share my outstanding content with the world. I know I'm a little late on this recap. I was a little sick over Thanksgiving weekend and lost my voice, but I'm back at it. It was a lot of great sports activities going on and boxing and things like that, but I digress. So this was a big game for the Packers. Uh, I think a lot of people came in thinking that the Packers were the underdog, and uh, this was a great game. Um, this was this is just a good game. It was a lot of uh, ebb and flow, highs and lows. And uh, it was an exciting game. I was definitely doing a lot of yelling and screaming during this game because there was a lot going on. And this could very well be the NFC Championship game that we just got a preview of, the Los Angeles Rams versus the Green Bay Packers. But let's get into these numbers. All right. The Packers beat the Los Angeles Rams. 36-28 in an exciting game. And then my boy Darren would say it was a shootout. Uh, the game was weird. So the Packers came out, scored in the first quarter, got seven points. And then Los Angeles Rams had multiple big plays in the second quarter, uh, scoring 17 points. Packers got 13. Uh, Stafford did throw a pick six, which I thought was funny. But besides that, he played a great game as well. Uh, there's a lot of explosive plays on offense on both teams. Odell Beckham showed showed people he's not washed, which we all knew, and we disrespected him with that offer. He could have been helping us. I digress. So uh, Stafford was 21 of 38, 302, three touchdowns, and then the pick six. And then we have Aaron Rodgers, 28 of 45, solid game, uh, 307, two touchdowns, no picks, clean game. He... Uh, Missed a few open throws, uh, just a couple errant passes. This is not his usual game as far as uh, how precise he is with the ball, but he did good enough for us to win, and that's what's most important. And what did I tell y'all? I tell y'all every week the same thing, which is why we should get a petition for me to be on the Packers uh, coaching staff. I'm just saying. I told y'all when they have 30 – carries we should win the game y'all remember me telling y'all that i tell y'all that every week if we run the ball 30 times we will not lose or we shouldn't lose and what did we do we stuck to the game aj Dillon, 20 carries 69 yards it wasn't a lot of yards per carry but the attempts were there aaron jones uh 10 carries 23 yards not much there uh aaron Rodgers did have a rushing touchdown but we were able to have 32 carries, and that's perfect for me, even though we did nothing uh, as far as average. You just need to keep the, the defense honest. The only way you're going to do that is by continuing to run the ball. I tell you all this all the time. I'm going to continue to ring it in you all ears. Packers, I know we have the greatest thrower of the football ever, but we still need to stick to the fundamentals of running the football. Another thing is there was way too many, I feel, explosive plays allowed by the Packers, like to Van Jefferson, Beckham. I mean, they all had ex explosive plays. Not that we didn't have our own, but our defense, the back end needs to get tightened up. We just need to tighten up on the back end. We allow way too many big plays. We can't win a championship playing like that, allowing big plays. We just can't. I feel like we do this a lot, just allow big plays. And I just think if we were able to get more pressure from the defense, that we could stop a lot of that. And then the, the secondary doesn't have to hold their man as long because we're getting pressure. But we're not getting pressure as we should, and people are getting time, and people are getting open, unfortunately. Uh, Devontae Adams played great. He's Devontae Adams is the best receiver in NFL, period. I don't want to hear what you're talking about. Don't. Don't bring no foolishness in here. DeAndre Hopkins, none of these people. Devontae Adams is the best receiver in NFL, period. You want to say something about it? Tell me in the comment section, but I won't agree with you because Devontae Adams uh, is the best receiver in NFL. A catches 104. Randall Cobb, ah, he played huge. Four catches, 95 yards, and a touch. Randall Cobb has his moments this year. I'm going to tell you that. He's not consistent. He's wild and consistent, but he has his moments. 
of Valdez Scantlin, a uh, pedestrian effort, but he still contributed uh, four catches, 50 yards, no touches. A.J. Dillon caught a touchdown at the backfield, which is great. Low-key, A.J. Dillon is slowly becoming our lead back, which is weird since we just paid uh, Aaron Jones. So I don't know what that's about. Again, coaching does weird stuff here, so whatever. Uh, and then uh, defensively, we had some plays like – we had a couple sacks, the fumble, the pick six. Like we had some things that went well. We just got to play better and more consistent on on defense. It's just what it is. We need to get more pressure. If that's blitzing or what we need to make these quarterbacks more uncomfortable. But this is a huge win against another great team in the NFC, and we showed that we belong in the upper echelon of teams, not only in the NFC but in the NFL. Our Achilles' heel, which has been for the last fifteen years, is usually is our defense. Yes, it made plays, but it started folding a little bit late. They started putting some pressure on us late. So, uh, but again, these happen against good quality teams like the Rams. Uh, it's not going to be easy, and we were able to eke it out, and that's what's important. We were able to eke out this win. Now the, the Packers moved to 9-3. and three. They have control of the NFC North. What they need to be focusing on now is trying to get those first two seeds in the playoffs. So we can't be – just losing the teams or doing weird stuff. We need to stay consistent and run the damn football to open up the pass and play smart defense, and we will be fine. We can win a championship with this team, but we will need to play correctly, and we need to figure out a way to garner more pressure. Nonetheless, our Green Bay Packers, the G stands for greatness, defeats the Los Angeles Rams 36-28 to to move to 9-3. And also, we are 5-0 and at home. Let's go, Pack. Hashtag go, Pack, go. I'm proud of these boys. They, they've, they've gotten some real difficult, tough wins. And they're, they're reminding me a little bit of the uh, 2011 team. Just a little bit. I'm not getting too high, but a little bit. They're showing signs. They're showing signs. So, uh, I'm Amra. This is Amra's Logic. This is just my recap of the Los Angeles Rams versus Green Bay Packers, where the Packers win 36-28, as they should. And uh, comment, like, subscribe, share my awesome content. Go.